Welcome to our tutorial about math expressions and operators. First, let's take a look at some examples of operators. Math operators look pretty much the same as conventional math symbols that you've seen before. The plus sign adds two values. The minus sign subtracts the second value from the first. An asterisk multiplies two values. A forward slash divides the first value by the second value. The caret raises the first value to the power of the second value. Let's look at an example here. First, we've defined our variables INTA and INTB as integers. Next, we've assigned int a a value of 15. Here, we add 3 to the value of int a, and we assign this sum to int b. Visual Basic will perform math operations first and after assign the resulting value to a variable. As a result, int b will end up with a value of 18, the sum of 15 plus 3. Another example, here the first variable, int a, is assigned a value of 5. Int b is assigned a value of 10 raised to the power of int a. As a last step, the result of this calculation is stored as the value of int b. Let's take a look at a third example. First, we've assigned values to variables int a and int b. The values are multiplied one by another, and then as a last step, stored as the value of int z. The last operator here, the amper symbol, concatenates two strings. This means to link together. This basically merges two strings. For example, here my user enters values in text box A and B. By using the concatenate operator, I join these two strings together. One more thing, the operator doesn't automatically insert a space between two strings, and that's because you don't always need a space between your two strings. However, if you do need a space between your strings, you should concatenate a third string here. The third string will contain the space. And this concludes our tutorial about expressions and math operators.